What is up fellow YouTube artists and aspiring artists? My name is Mike with Aerosol Custom Spray Paint Art. Today we're going to be learning all about water. So spray painting water effects is super important in having complex and interesting pieces. Today I'm going to show you a couple of different things to keep in mind when you're tackling this subject matter. We're gonna be doing a black and white painting today just to keep things super simple and really focus on the water effects themselves. So if you guys are not familiar with anything I'm doing in this painting up to a certain point, make sure you check out my beginner spray paint art tutorial. The link is gonna be on your screen right now as well in the description below. Make sure you guys check those out. Before we jump into this, make sure you guys hit that like button Make sure you subscribe. There's a lot of tutorials to check out on the channel, as well as many more coming in the future. Very grateful to have you all along for the ride. Let's get into the painting. If you've watched both the recent beginner spray paint art tutorials, we're gonna essentially create a similar scene really quickly. I'm not gonna go into too many details here. And then we're gonna get into kind of the lower two thirds of the painting where our water effects come into play. First and foremost, I'm gonna make myself a little moon. Go ahead, pop our magazine sheet on, just some black and then some white on top. Peel that back. I think we could use a little bit more white. This time I'm actually going in with some newspaper because my paint is really wet. We go in and shade our mountain, part of the shade our planet here, with some of this Rust-Oleum Quick Color, the cheap off-brand, a little bit of our, what? My paint is pulling up on me a little bit here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go ahead and texturize a little bit more, pull off some of this paint. That should do. I rarely do this guys, but I'm gonna use my torch here just to dry this planet a little bit because I think it got a little bit too much paint. I don't recommend using any fire with spray paint, especially if you're just starting out. Uh, so keep that in mind. The best way to dry these paintings is by getting a fan in front of them and getting some airflow over them. That's your best, safest way. Nonetheless, time for a little bit of fire. Now this is a little bit dry, let's try the sheeting again here. A little bit of Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Black. We're gonna go ahead and pop our planet on and cover up the top one third of our poster board with some black spray paint. go in with some white gloss on the tip of our finger, flick it off to the side. Let's get a few stars going in the mix here. And then our Rust-Oleum Quick Color White. 
Just gonna drag that across just to create some depth in the sky. Go ahead and pop our planet stencil off. Go in with our quick color. I'm just gonna get rid of that planet ring a little bit there. Perfect. So in a nutshell, our first beginner spray paint art tutorial shows you how to make this exact scene. We didn't go any further than that. Following up from that, we did some mountains. So we're gonna go ahead and do that just by spraying a fresh layer of Rust-Oleum Black in here. We're gonna take our Rust-Oleum uh, Painter's Touch White this time. Just drag it across like that. Go for our plastic bag. Stick our hand in, we're just gonna go ahead and etch out the mountain. Doesn't have to be perfect here, guys. Next, I'm doing another layer. I'm gonna shade this mountain out a little bit. Do another layer of mountains coming this way. More white. More plastic bag. There we go, now our scene's starting to shape up. Now we have in the water, guys. This is kind of the meat and potatoes of this tutorial. So to create some nice water effects, one thing you're gonna need is a little straight edge tool like this. This can be found at any hardware store, probably Walmart, either in the painting or drywall section. If you can't find one locally, check out this. the links in the description below. I have an item uh, linked to Amazon down there for you. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna lay this down as horizontally as possible onto our poster board. And that's effectively gonna be our water line. That's where our water is going to start. And it's important that it's uh, nice and even. So once we got that in a place that we like, as you can see, I'm leaving some of this black underneath here. And that is gonna reflect basically, water is gonna reflect what you see in the sky to a degree, so these mountains are gonna be reflected a little bit in the water. We're gonna go ahead, grab our black, we'll just continue over this mountain here. I know our moon is also here, so I'm just gonna do like a little black circle there. From then on, it's all about the white. So we're gonna come across here. We're gonna spray all this area with white, and then just a tiny bit of black. Once we got that part, there's two ways we can do this, guys. One of which is simply kind of holding the edge here and dragging our hands across. The other method is to get a scrap piece of poster board like so and place this down along parallel and shake out our water effects here. I'm gonna show you this technique. So you're gonna line it up with the water and keep it up on an angle and then you're just gonna slowly drag back and forth. Staying horizontal as much as possible, getting all the way across the poster board. It starts moving on you, don't worry guys. Take your time. I'm gonna hold this down a little more. You do wanna pause and wipe off this poster board if possible, it can get pretty gooped up. We go back into the top area here. Excellent. Looking really nice. And just up in this other section on the top right, make sure we're looking good all the way across. I think that looks great. Again, the other technique you could use is to drag your hand just across the whole thing. Whichever method you choose to do, make sure you don't overwork the paint at this stage. It's really malleable. It's really moist if you get to it right away. But if you overwork it, it's just gonna be all gray sludge and it's gonna look like nothing. So less is more here. Don't overwork your paint and you're gonna wind up with some pretty cool results. We're gonna come in now with some more black. I did leave this one little section down here kind of blank. For a reason, we're gonna add some more terrain. So some black, streak across with our white again. 
And yes, you guessed it, more plastic bag. I really like using bags for texturizing. I know a lot of people use newspaper and magazine sheets. For me, I get really accurate results with these. I can kind of bend the plastic bag and the newspaper or magazine paper doesn't seem to behave the same way. So this is my preference. You guys use whatever you like. You come in here. I'm gonna need some more black for sure. Excellent. I'm gonna leave these foreground, or pardon me, the background mountains I'm gonna leave these background mountains as is, but I am gonna add a little bit of highlighting to our front terrain here, just to really distinguish it from the water. As you can see, I got this little bit of a black edge, and that's kind of where I'm gonna focus my palette knife. Do you have any natural looking rock formations already within your terrain? Just kind of accent those and highlight them. Play around. Push down with various pressures on your palette knife, and you're gonna get some different effects. A little bit more here. Excellent. You go in and shade the bottom edge of this terrain. You got a pretty nice scene going here. There is one more thing I want to add, and that's our second water effect that we're going to learn about. What you're going to do for this, just get a scrap piece of poster board and figure out the width that you want your waterfall. That's what we're going to be creating here. I want it about an inch, inch and a half wide. I'm just going to rip down on my poster board and I'm left with this. Now this is very, very important. We're gonna be spraying some white onto this here. We don't want too little, but we don't want pools and pools of paint. So we're gonna do very similar to what you'd spray on your fingertip for creating stars. We're gonna spray right here onto this. Once we do that, I'm gonna get you zoomed in so you can really see what is what. Hopefully that's nice and clear. So without paint on this yet, we are going to place it down once we do have paint. We're gonna kinda hash out where we want our waterfall and then we're gonna dab the paint on. It's gonna stick here in a line and then we're gonna pull it down. The key here is we're not dragging it across the painting. We are almost barely even touching the poster board and what that's gonna do is it's gonna take the pile of paint and you're just gonna slide and transfer it to different areas. You're not trying to smear it, you're trying to spread it. So it does take a little bit to get used to, guys. Don't worry if you don't get this one right away. I still mess these up all the time. Matter of fact, yesterday I was trying to film a video on this subject, got to this stage, and I duffed my waterfalls and had to scrap the whole painting. It happens, it's part of learning. Don't get too stressed out. Nonetheless, let's do this for real. We're gonna take our piece of poster board here. We're gonna spray some white onto it. Not too much, not too little. We're gonna dab onto where we want our waterfall. So judging by my little line there, I don't have quite enough paint. So I'm gonna spray a little bit more. Dab it on and then just lightly, lightly go off to the side and drag down. To wipe this off here to go in actually i'm grabbing a brand new piece all together a little bit of black on that one new piece of poster board a little bit more white on there we're gonna go in and do another waterfall here guys say up here this time not quite enough paint again make sure you hold your hand underneath it when you're getting it into position because you will drop little bits of paint here and there and it will mess up your painting. Once we have that, drag 
off to the side. I really like that one as is. I think I'll leave that. Going again, and one more over here. I'm gonna go in and add a bit more white and go over this one one more time. All right, so we got some waterfalls. That is a really good start. So one more thing we need to do to make these really look nice. We're gonna go in with our straight edge tool here. We're gonna lay that down at the base of the waterfall, nice and lightly. What I kind of do is angle it off the edge so this part is making contact off my painting. I get it as close to touching as I can without actually affecting it. I'm gonna take our quick color white, we're gonna spray that right here. Not onto the page, we just want to spray it onto our straight edge to have it reflect back, and it's going to get a nice splash effect for our waterfall. Then I do a little shot just at the base of the waterfall. And we get a nice effect like so. We come in with the same one here. Same technique, different waterfall. I'm gonna lay this down. In this case, I am gonna put it down just a little bit. Boom. And last but not least, like so. We had a nice little scene with our mountain and our planet and our night sky. Then we went and added some mountains. We had created some beautiful water in the mid-ground, a little bit of terrain in the front, and then created three really nice waterfalls. These aren't perfect by any means. The point is, start experimenting with these things. They don't have to be perfect. Don't be too hard on yourself. Grab some scrap poster board and dedicate the whole thing to just doing waterfall after waterfall. Eventually something will click for you guys. You're gonna understand how to do this. Last but not least, as always, make sure you're signing your art. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Hopefully this was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you again in the next video.